So let's now take a look at another limit where we use the change of variables formula. And the example we're going to take a look at is the limit as x tends toward infinity of x to the beta divided by e to the x. And here I'm thinking of beta as being a positive number. So that this is growing, this is growing, so we have a battle here. So this thing here is infinity divided by infinity. So the rule book doesn't immediately apply and we have to think a little bit. And one thing we can keep in mind when we use the change of variables formula is that hopefully we can turn this into a limit that we know something about. And the point now is to use the change of variables formula to connect this to another limit. And in this course, I'm at this point giving several standard limits that we'll easily prove a bit later, but that I provide now so that we can play around a little bit. And the one that's relevant for us now is the following. So we're given that ln x divided by x to the alpha goes to zero as x tends to infinity if alpha is any positive number here. So how can we use this? Well, the point was to use the change of variables here. So here we have e to the x. Let's try to see what happens if we put e to the x equal to u. Now when x goes to infinity, e to the x goes to infinity. So here I can replace this by u goes to infinity like this. I have my u down here, but what is x? Well, x is equal to log u or ln u. It means the same to me, but let's use the same notation here. So this is now ln u to the beta. And by the change of variables formula, this is all good. And then you see here, okay, but here we have ln without the power, but we have a power on the, the um, x. Well, then we can write this as lim u tends to infinity. Then we can pull out the beta like this. So we have our ln u here, then u one over beta like this. And now we can use, well, basically the change of variables formula, but in the guise of the composition rule. So here we can just move him in like this. We have ln u, u one over beta like this. And here, well, if beta was a positive number, then so is one over beta. So now we can apply this with alpha being one over beta. So we know now that this is zero to the beta, which is just zero and we're done. So here in fact, we use this change of variables thing twice.